I give up. I'm so tired now. There's no fish. Hi, welcome to the Super Strike channel. I bought a uh, Dakota lithium battery, 12 volt, 10 amps. It's pretty light. Yeah, this one is uh, the Hummingbird stock battery, uh, red acid battery. It's it's pretty heavy. Uh, stock battery, it's about 2.5 kilo. Yeah, it is pretty heavy. And uh, Dakota, it's just only half weight. It's 1.3. Yeah, it's it's pretty light. Yeah, I can use the regular uh, battery charger, Hummingbird uh, uh, stock battery charger, but that one is for uh, red acid battery. I, but still, I can use it. But charging late is uh, one amp. That's it's small. I also bought a, a lithium battery charger with the Dakota battery because uh, this one is uh, output power is uh, 3 amp it's uh, 3 times more than the stock one so I think I can use the, the regular uh, red acid battery charger for a lithium battery but uh, Dakota recommended to use a lithium battery charger because it's, um, uh, it might reduce the performance. Hmm. So I'm fishing for about four or five hours now. Uh, the battery is still 100%. Yeah, it looks like a long lasting. Uh, my uh, regular uh, red acid battery is a 12 volts, 10 amps. But that one is also good and save energy more, like uh, as much as possible. I use in the flasher mode, not like uh, like a 2D mode, like a two three hours. Battery indicator slowly goes down. It, it's good enough for my uh, regular ice fishing, fishing only for about four or five hours. Sometimes I'm fishing for like overnight fishing, uh, keep flasher turn on for 10 hours or maybe more. In this case, uh, my regular red acid battery is good for about 6-7 hours. I used to have a backup red acid battery that is only a 7 amp, 12 volt 7 amp, it's a little bit smaller so it's good for only four or five hours use both of the battery and it's still okay for up to 15 hours but more than 15 hours i have no choice so that's why i bought this uh dakota lithium battery so far i'm happy to use this i tested the Dakota lithium battery at home, like simulation mode, demo mode, uh, because I don't want to break the transducer. I think it's uh, about 24 hours, maybe more. I think it's battery last forever. Fish finders firmware upgrade is uh, must things. And uh, battery upgraded is uh, one of the game changer for ice fishing. Overall, twice over power of traditional battery, half the weight, yes, it's pretty light. Then the charging is five times faster, but actually I bought it the three amp, so uh, three times faster than regular one. And uh, four times last, four times as long. It, it cost more, but uh, total about the 2000 cycles and longer life so I'd save the money fishing for five hours battery is excellent shape and my fishing is uh, terrible no fish no bite no mark anything uh. 
six hours now. Battery is still 100%. So no flesh, no bite. Okay, almost 13 hours fishing. Uh, I give up. I'm so tired now. Uh, uh, there's no fish. But I, I have some bites that I couldn't catch any. 13 hours, I use all of uh, my regular red acid battery and uh, change it to uh, my backup another uh, lead acid battery and it good for maybe 14 15 hours and I, right now 13 hours but still uh, Dakota lithium battery is still works and still 100% Definitely good for 15, 16 hours. Sure, maybe 20 hours, maybe 24 hours. Uh, anyway, the quarter lithium battery is pretty good. I like it. The fishing is pretty bad today. That's all for today. I hope to catch some uh, maybe next time. Thanks for watching. See you at the next episode. Bye. Ah. <sighs>